Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Tim for The Real Sports Talk. You can hit me up on Twitter at Cash Kelly underscore TRSC. Today, Brian Dawkins, B Dawk, the Wolverine, whatever you want to call him, one of my favorite players of all time as an Eagles fan, announced his retirement. He did that this morning on Twitter saying that he was not going to come back for his 17th NFL season. And a lot of people thought that was just because of the neck injuries that he had gone through down the stretch last year. He was not, and I'm reading that mostly from an ESPN article that said that down the stretch last year, he was not able to play because of that neck injury. We all saw how big of an impact he had when the Patriots just absolutely tore apart that defense when he was not able to be there. But he made it clear that he could have come back, and he said in a quote that it's probably going to sound crazy, but you know the fact that I could play another year gives me a lot of peace. To say that that is it, that this is it, and I think that this that is kind of something that players like to leave on the fact that they weren't thrown out of the game the way Brett Favre was, that they kind of retired on their own terms, and that's a good thing for Brian Dawkins to have happen. Unfortunately, he was never able to win a Super Bowl in his 14, 13 or 14 years with the Eagles, and then three years in Denver with the Denver Broncos. And really, the Eagles never should have let him go in the first place because they've had trouble finding a safety to replace him since then. Uh, bottom line, Brian Dawkins, I think we all know how good of a player overall he was. He's a first ball Hall of Famer, one of the hardest hitting safeties the NFL has ever seen, but it was his passion and his drive. Ray Lewis always gets all the credit for that and he deserves it, but Brian Dawkins was always right there with that same amount of passion. He's one of the best leaders in the history of the NFL. And I think that he sometimes kind of gets underrated, but he really was one of the best safeties that's ever played in the NFL. And to have the career he's had, it is nice to see him retire on his own terms today after 13 seasons. Leave your thoughts below about what you think of Brian Dawkins. Is he a first bow Hall of Famer, or maybe it'll take a few years? I think he's first bow. The Broncos did say that they would have taken him back. There were a lot of people saying, or there was a lot of speculation, I should say, that maybe... He was not going, or that the uh, Broncos were going to use the out clause that he had in his contract after the season. John Elway said that he encouraged him to come back, but he never was pushing for it because he knew that ultimately the, the decision was his. And I think that that's a nice thing out of him. I was surprised that he did not come back somewhat, but I did hear him on an interview prior to the whole Peyton Manning thing when Tebow was still there talking about how much he liked Tebow, how much he liked the leadership, but also. I could just kind of tell that he he was done, that he, he was all right if, that, if this was it. And at that point, I did think that he would retire. When, he, when they got Peyton Manning, I began to think, well, here's a chance. He's never won a Super Bowl. If he can get healthy, maybe he decides to come back and give it one more shot. Ultimately, he did not decide to do that. He will retire after 16 seasons, 16 great seasons. And to be a, to still be in the NFL, especially when you're not a quarterback, at age 38, shows how good he is, how hard he worked. And that's a testament to how much of a winner this guy was overall. Unfortunately, he was just never able to get over the top and win that Super Bowl. Hit me up on Twitter, at Cash Kelly underscore TRST. Also, like The Real Sports Talk on Facebook. I'll see you guys later.